uh, yeah. Wonderful. In that case. All right. So the baboon has had its turn. And has <laughs> opened the lock. Son of a bitch. The, the ape has stood up to its full height, which turns out is a lot bigger than it looked when it was lying down. Uh, uh, upon, don't worry. Upon standing up, you see the blood red chitinous scales all along its underside and its jaw has split in half showing drooling fangs and a tongue lolling out of it and its blood red eyes are staring at you it's, uh. it's it's pretty it's pretty bad it's pretty bad guys right so with that rune it's your go <laughs> oh, oh no is it my go <laughs> yeah uh um oh okay in this insane split second um, of, of, of uh, activity can, can I tell whether the locking mechanism is a is a latch that I can simply kick closed again or is it uh, uh, it, it was a padlock or the, oh. the equivalent of a padlock oh dear oh so that's yeah that's and it's broken now right it has been snapped off yes oh, damn monkeys oh okay um, oh shit Okay, well, give me a second then. Uh, oh, sorry, just, you've, you've, sorry. Only a, you've only had a week. It's fine. Well, where is the baboon? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Where is the actual baboon? Um, it, it's actually it's actually underneath your token. Oh, it, right. It, it is it is literally hanging onto the door. So it basically it jumps up on the doors, holding onto the bars with uh, its feet and its hand. It uses its other hand to snap the lock. Um, Gray took a slash at it and cut uh, one of its wings off. Um, but it wasn't okay. enough to stop. Uh, right, okay then. In that case, how many slots do I have left here? Oh, okay. Cool, 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 cool. What I think I'm going to do then. Uh, 3d8 plus 2. Yeah, no, I don't want to do that. I want to do that. Uh, 10 foot. Let me just quickly have a look at the 10 foot sphere. Uh, so... That'd be if I centre it there. Oh shit! No, that'll get me. Yeah, I don't want to do that. Oh, yeah. Uh, in that case, I am going to cast uh, not shatter. I will cast thunder wave. Okay. At third level. All right. Um, so that should get everything. Uh, oh, where's my clicker? There. There they're uh, all going kind of that way yeah okay cool what's the save on that one that's not going to get the baboon is it is the baboon pressed up against the bars in front of me yes so can it get the baboon as well I would say so cool all right sweet all right uh, here we go then do 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 so it is a yeah constitution DC 14 sorry Right, so the ape. That saves. Son of a. And the baboon. That saves. Oh man. Okay. Well. So um, is, it, is it um half damage? It is. Yes. So okay. yeah, half damage. But they are not so, pushed. No. So the the baboon that's hanging onto the door. Mm. Um, it's having snapped off and it lets, leads out, let, let, leads out, lets out a screech of triumph. You cast a spell and the shockwave of it reverberates off the wall behind the ape and comes back again. It hits the baboon on the bars, knocking it off. It hits the ground and doesn't get back up again. Yay! Now we only have to deal with the big one. <laughs> Shit. Yeah. <laughs> and I'm against the Bars. Does that open outwards or inwards? Yeah, that's an question. Oh no! You might want to move. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I think I might actually. I do have a move action, so I'm going to do that. Uh, uh, let me see. I'm going to move. Ha! Huh. I will move past Bonk. Uh, and I'll get I'll get here I think. Okay. I won't move too far away because I want to be able to help my help my guys. But being in front of that is probably not the best idea for me. <laughs> um, right. And let me just see if I've got 
any of these left. I do have a bardic inspiration. Um, okay, I am going to inspire. Uh, hmm. I'll inspire Bonk because I've got a feeling that he's going to want to get in there nice and close and personal. Uh, so uh, yeah. <laughs> uh, and uh, I, I'm, I'm going to like touch him on the arm on the way past and go forget everything I said about the ape you're going to need to kill it kill it bonk kill it good kill it is something that I can do and that is my turn okay alright so the ape rears up and having done so pounds its fist of its no pounds its chest of its fists goes down onto its knuckles it surges forward hitting the gate and it does indeed open outwards and it opens out towards Grey well I'm glad so I Grey, oh. can, you, can you give me a dexterity I, to... I was about to say can you give me a dexterity saving throw please yeah I was going to say can I speak out of turn or you can, you can, you can cry if you like yeah <laughs> can I say I can say oh, no I was going to say something to no you can, you can speak yeah, I would just say, look at it, this thing as it smashes the door open in front of me. <laughs> I would just say, we don't have to do this. Oh. Okay. To the, to the, to the thing. Oh, oh. okay. Well, oh, just, okay. just conversationally. Just like, oh, guys, yeah, yeah, just look at him like, we don't, we don't have to do this. But dude. Maybe yeah. he understands me, maybe not. I don't know. <laughs> oh, you are oh. trying to reason. With the rage beast. <laughs> right. <laughs> Normally I'd go with you on this, but that might not work. <laughs> oh, I'm assuming it's not going to work, but it, it doesn't cost anything to try. Anyway, what, what, what have I, what have I received it? from failing my dex? Uh, oh, save? okay, there we go. Right. Yep, so you're going to take uh, five <laughs> points of bludgeoning damage as you are hit in the uh, in the everything with the big metal um, cage door. <laughs> we don't have to do this. Splash! <laughs> yeah, yeah, we do. Yep. Yeah. It has to. It, it, it has to turn sideways to get through the door. But it surges forward, and its eyes are locked on you, Bonk. You are the biggest thing in here. You are the biggest threat to it. I am drawing up to full height, holding my axe. <laughs> Go on, a you big bastard. As Grey says, we don't have to do this. And the little old lady from Predator 2 pipes up and says, I don't think he gives a shit. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> All right. Bonk. Yes. So, one attack. 27. Fuck me. All right. Um, Was I, I raging? You were, you were raging, yes. That's good. Yes. So that's five points of damage. Uh, Five... Damage. Oof. Yep. Alright, next one. Yep, so that's um, tw uh, 10 points of damage. <laughs> Half yep. fiend dire ape. <laughs> oh shit. Mm, we know where all the good rolls are going tonight then. <laughs> yes. Uh, 16? Uh, 16 misses. Okay. Yeah, so it comes up at you, it dr dr uh, rears up and slams you twice with its fists. Completely out of nowhere, you're just uh, uh, and it as it slams you, it reaches forward and you can see its mouth opening and the mandibles at the bottom spreading open to try and clamp onto your head and you're like, no, fuck that. And you uh, duck backwards out of the way. Right, uh, that is uh, it's go. Oh, sure go. Ducking backwards, I am going to stand right in front of it. How tall is this thing? Um, it is when it's reared up to its full height. It's probably about nine feet tall. Um, okay. But at the moment, it's kind of slumped forward. It's kind of resting on its knuckles in a yeah. real fashion. So it's probably on the same height as you, if not a tiny bit smaller, maybe. Fucking hell, this thing's a it, big bastard. It's significantly wider, though. Yes. All right. Uh, dodging the, the bite, I'm going to get right up in its face and just roar at it. And then I'm going to twat it. Wonderful. Uh, I'm going to... Oh, I'm going to go... All the beans. Great weapon master and reckless. Ooh. 
Oh fuck oh, you! Oh no. Oh, no. no one misses. Um, what's your what's your bardic inspiration dice? Oh, it's uh, D8. D8. Eight. Yeah, I'm going for it. Straight okay. off the bat. Uh, yeah, it's there to be used. Give me a high number. That's no. not a high number. I'm guessing oh, a 14 man. doesn't hit. It does not. Damn. All right. Uh, second hit. 17. That hits. Uh, two-handed with rage. 34 points of damage. Lovely. And can it make a con save? It doesn't need to. Fuck's sake! <laughs> <laughs> oh, I knew I shouldn't have even asked. Fucking poison immunities. The DM giveth, the DM taketh away. Oh, uh, the DM fucketh me in the ass. Oh, uh, no, all right, go go. Nicely. <laughs> right, <laughs> recall. Um. Okay, so as my action, I would like to. Oh, one second, recall. Before you yep. cannot see anything. This oh. is what I'm about to do right now. Okay. Um, <laughs> I grab my amulet and I cast light as a cantrip. Okay. Oh, yes, I remember. Yeah, because I, I did actually remove it to remind me because I knew that when you came in, you wouldn't be able to see anything. Yep. Um, and it was Mevin's my madness. There we go. But as the room lights up, I think, oh, fuck, this thing's out now. And I will cast um, Spiritual Weapon. And I want uh, to it cast it. Is, no, that's a um, bonus action, isn't it? It is. Yes, it is a bonus action. So I want to cast it in behind the ape here. Okay. Good shit. Your hands off me, you dirty ape! <laughs> there we go. I'm and then not a I would like to I'm a real take a swipe, a swipe with the spiritual hammer. No. Yes, it's in the dick, in the dick. That will be a <laughs> twenty. Any way one. you can. Yep. Uh, yep. Alright. Right. Do that damage. Nice. 12 points of damage. Ah, nearly. Nearly yeah. max. Nearly max. Very good. And that ends my Anything turn. Else? That's it. Beautiful. Thank you. Great. Um, I guess I'll uh, squeeze around the, uh, the, uh, the door that was slammed into my face and I will start attacking. Okay. So the first attack. Oh, that's oh, a 20! So now uh, so you can add in yeah, you yes. can add another so that's eight onto 18? that. So that would be a, yeah. Yeah. Shame 18. I don't have any spell slots left. Um. Oh, between hits, I uh, ask Rune. Rune, do you have any ways of locking that door again, magically? No. <laughs> okay. Sorry. <laughs> uh, that one misses. Second attack, an eleven. Yeah, I assume misses. Yeah. That's that's what I was looking for in the first place. I was trying to find something I could lock it with. Mm. Now, uh, that's me then. Okay. Rune. Um, does the spiritual weapon class as a creature? Uh, I don't believe so. Okay, so no. if I if I use a spell that affects creatures, it won't affect it. No. Okay, good. In that case. Uh, I am going to cast um, right here in this corner mm -hmm. uh, because that won't reach any of my compatriots. I'm going to cast Shatter. What's the range of Shatter? What, what, is it 10 feet or 15 feet? It is a 10 foot sphere okay. centered oh, yep. on that location um, and it's the range is 60 foot. Okay. Um, so yes, I am going to cast that uh, second, yeah, second level. Okay. Constitution save. Ooh, failed. Yay! So, ten points of thunder damage. Yeah. Um, and I don't have anything else I can do as a bonus action right now. Uh, so yeah, no. So that that is, and I'm gonna stay where I am as well. 
I think this is okay. a good good distance. So uh, that's my action, uh, my right. turn. Sorry. Okay. Thank you. So, having been bl- bludgeoned by the, the thunder force from behind it, the creature kind of flinches slightly and then rears up. And as you all look upon it, its face seems to melt and form and into horrible, horrible shapes of just dark, horrible tentacles and eyes. Uh, I would no. like you all to give me no. a wisdom saving throw, please. Ah. Uh. No. <laughs> I like it. Um, uh, it's quite low DC, though. Sorry. Wisdom saving throws. <clears throat> oh, bonk. <laughs> oh, oh <rude>. no! <laughs> Right, oh, Bonk and shit. Rune. You are both, oh, you are no. both frightened. Oh, wait. I'm going to use luck. Uh, okay. So sure. I'm going to do that again. Fuck off! <laughs> no oh, way! Oh. No! Wow. Uh, it's pretty scary. Pretty scary. <laughs> I tell you, man, Roll20 hates me. Holy shit. I guess fuck me. <laughs> okay. <Right>. Um Okay. <laughs> so, uh, Bonk and Rune, you are both frightened. Yay. Um which means that on your turn you must take the dash action to move yourself away from the creature. Oh, fuck's sake. Unless there is nowhere to move. Okay. Um if you end, if your turn ends uh, in a location where you don't have line of sight, uh, you can take a wisdom save to to, to break the spell. Okay. Um, technical question then, because this bridge is collapsed. Yep. Uh, would would I have the sense of mind to stop before the bridge, or do I just careen off the edge? <laughs> um. <laughs> so while while, while, the water. while frightened. Uh, Frank, you have a you ha- uh, you are frightened, so you have a disadvantage on ability che- checks and attack rolls when a source of fear is within line of sight, mm. and you can't willingly move closer. It doesn't say anything about you know stopping before you run over a cliff or anything. Okay. Well, it um, says it says move away from you by the safest available route. Right. right okay. Right. 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 right, right. So, cool. Yes. Yeah, so, I mean, you know, if you, if I, I, you know, you've seen that things can go into the water without you know dying. So yeah. I imagine you probably you would just duck. <laughs> dive into the water and get out of sight. Quite possibly, yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. As right, long as so I deem was... it safe, then I'll probably do that. <laughs> okay, that was its action, so that's it. Uh, bonk! Fucking <laughs> 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 hell. Uh, <laughs> I... Okay, I'm gonna... <laughs> um... Uh, Mr. DM, sir. Yes. Do me a favour. Yes. Call heads or tails. Okay. Uh, heads. It's heads. All right. I am going to turn around. Uh, and I am going to sprint. Ooh. This way. Oh shit! It gets attack of opportunity on you <laughs> as you run away. Yep. Uh, so that is uh, uh, nine. That uh, eight, 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 po- eight, eight points of bludgeoning damage. Yep. Do I get does, keep my rage going for another turn. It does keep my rage going. <laughs> I am going to <laughs> pick up the fruit. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> As I am sprinting. <laughs> because I can see the look of horror on his face as well. <laughs> and rather than going over him, I'm going to go through him. Which means picking him up with me. Okay. <laughs> so. I'm not uh, having a good day. American football style, I am <laughs> running, grabbing the dudes. And getting. Oh, wait. Did, did Bonk run that fast that he runs across the top of the water? <laughs> <laughs> actually, actually, saying that, my water walk spell would probably still be up because it lasts for an hour. It is, yeah. <laughs> yes. 
So, <laughs> life <laughs> skipping stone. I'm holding him like a fucking rugby ball. And <laughs> I am just, and I have sprinted to here. Uh, if I go up here, mm. I'm now out of line of sight. Okay, Actually, sorry. let me check the, the, the amount of running oh. that took me. Yeah, with the dash action. Yeah. I can get out of sight. <laughs> okay. Yep, so on your next uh, turn, you can, take a, you can take a wisdom save me for it. Oh, man. Uh, if the creature ends, ends its, its turn, turn and okay, location. Yep. yep, do your wisdom them. I can do a wisdom save. Oh, box. Yep, that saves. Oh, thank God for that. <laughs> Shake my head and go. Oh, that motherfucker! And that's me. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, Rico. Yeah, me and Rico just um, left looking at each other like, oh, fuck. <laughs> <laughs> what? what the f <laughs> um, okay, as my... I will use my spiritual weapon first. Um, I will attack it once again from behind. Chain. Okay. Attempt to distract it slightly before I make my action. That'll be a 27 to hit. Eight, eight points eight, of damage. Do, do concentration. That uh, fails. So, yep, yeah, so uh, Rune, you are no longer frightened. Oh. Oh. <laughs> what the hell? Did uh, you see that thing? Cool. Uh, as uh, my. Fucking monkey. Action. Action. I would like to cast Inflict Wounds at second level. Ooh, he's bringing out, bringing out big guns. Uh oh. Um, so my spell attack is a 24. Ooh, that's a good, good roll this evening. Nice. Don't jinx it, please. <laughs> oh, I'm Inflict Wounds level 2. 18 points of damage. 18 points of damage, yeah. So you can watch the black necrotic. Rot spreading across it as where you've touched it on the arm. You can see the fur blackening and falling out as it roars and draws its hand back. It's now looking directly at you, Rico. Um, hmm. And that will end my end my turn. All right, great. Okay, I'm just going to start hacking at its side while looking okay. at Rico. Where did they go? Why did they leave us? <laughs> Nine misses. Five, <laughs> oh, <laughs> we, our numbers have been halved. We don't stand a chance. <laughs> well, just, despite the fact that you weren't one of the ones who were afflicted with fear, apparently you were. It's using maths against us. Run! <laughs> <laughs> like, a, real, actual feel, fear, not magically induced fear. Um, Gray is actually it's just, <laughs> it's just piss running down Gray's leg at this point. <laughs> yeah, a small puddle. Bare feet. Oh yeah, because you're not wearing shoes! <laughs> <laughs> you got stuck hey, in guys. the other room! Hey guys, can you see Gray's shoes? <laughs> oh, right. That's a good oh, point. Anything else great? <laughs> um, I'm thinking about running away, but no, I'll stay where I am. I, I will consider it a free action to piss yourself. <laughs> <laughs> I'll, uh, I'll hold that action, I think. Okay. <laughs> right, Rune. Uh, right, so I'm no longer feared. Okay. Um, let's have a look. I'm trying to find my thing. Right, uh... 30 will get me back there. Okay, I will do that. I'm going to get back to here. Uh, and I can see it, so I'm going to cast... What am I going to cast? I'm going to cast... Oh, that's a good point. Is it in, Is it within 60? I believe it is. Yeah, well within. Yeah, okay. yeah. Uh, I'm going to cast um, Toll the Dead. Okay. So... I'm gonna point a finger and let out really like a like a mournful uh, Gregorian kind of monk note, <laughs> uh, and yeah. So toll the dead. Here we go. It's wisdom, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Is that gone? 
Oh, um, it's asking me. Yes, it has lost hit points, hasn't it? Yeah. It has indeed. Yes. Cool. So... Multiple people have platted. <laughs> <laughs> wow. <laughs> That's good to know. That's good. <laughs> um, Don't that... mean fuck all for me, but it's good for you <laughs> lot. What does at will mean? Uh, means that it's a cantrip. Okay. Yeah, you have no, you have no. It, uh, it's, no not, it's not a bonus action. On it. That's the word. Okay. Yeah. No, it's it's an action, but you don't have any limits on how many times. How many you times can you can use it. it? Okay. Cool. 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 For example, some would have uh, once per short rest, once per long rest, once per day. Oh uh, yeah, of course. Once per seven days. Well, I'm. I can't really do anything else, so that is my turn. Okay. So, looking at you, Rickolf, its lip, lips, multiple lips, will curl back, showing all of its teeth. It reaches out with its fists. 19? That does hit. No. Okay, so that's 14 bludgeoning damage. Yep. 10 misses. Critical fail on that one. And 20. Yeah. Yeah, so 20 piercing damage. So it brings the fist around, smashing you, brings the other one around and misses. And as you're staggering, it grabs hold of you, pulls you forward and bites down on your shoulder. It doesn't get all the way through your armor, but it, you can feel the teeth piercing your skin beneath it. Uh, bonk, it's your go. <laughs> right. Bonk, where have you gone? Oi! Monkey fuck! <laughs> and as I'm running, uh, I am going to unleash two javelins. Oh. Uh, just pull them from my back and fucking launch them. Uh, I am going to hit Reckless for both of them. So. Reckless hit. hit. Nice. Six. Uh. And I am raging. Is rage just melee attacks? Uh... Melee, yeah. Rage is just melee. But I still keep the rage because I attacked. Mm -hmm. uh, so... Do you crit on a 19? No. Okay. Uh... So, javelins, because I don't have a macro for them, because I don't use them often enough. Mm. Ten damage on the first. Okay. Uh, and then the second javelin thrown. Sixteen. Misses. All right. Yep, so uh, out from, and from, that from, is... <laughs> that's my go. Okay, so from out the tunnel, for Rick, Harlan, Gray, as you're focusing on the actual uh, ape itself, out of nowhere, something silver goes... <laughs> past your heads, buries itself into the ape, it's in, into the ape and it rears back and roars. In doing so, it narrowly misses the other javelin that comes spinning out, out of the corridor and lands in the cell that it was previously in. And that was a big javelin sticking out of it. You can hear Bonk just grumbling about magic. <laughs> <laughs> fucking magic made me scared, you fucking stupid fucking ape! That's, that's ah! Rick off. <laughs> Barbarian Rage. Um, okay. So, I have interest, Rich. Have you gone back to your onboard microphone? Because you've gone very quiet all of a sudden. No, I've just got my mic away from my um, <laughs> So, I will once again use the spiritual weapon. I'm going to mm -hmm. keep smacking that thing from behind. So, that would be 13 will might miss, I think. Yeah. This is, yep. Um, and then I will. I'm just gonna whip my weight mace up from the side and give it a swipe with a mace. Mm -hmm. um, that one. That misses, I'm afraid. That'll be, yeah. Uh, miss. Okay. And having taken a bit of damage, I'm just a bit weary and a bit like. Uh, just. Uh, uh, and that ends my turn. All right. Great. Yeah, I'm just gonna keep on um, hacking into uh, the side of this uh, thing with my okay. sword, uh, just two-handed over my head, um, 
Well, by the way, I, it is a longsword, which is a versatile weapon, so I, I can theoretically use it two-handed, correct? You can indeed, yes. You can. Which would actually change the damage. Yep, to a d10 rather yes. than a d8. Yeah, so if you... Okay, I very quickly just made a new macro. <laughs> so yeah, I'm just I've got two-handed. I'm just, I'm just uh, as the thing's not looking at me, I'm using that to my advantage. I'm mm -hmm. just going to start hacking at it. So that one hits. Fast hit. Ooh. So that's uh, twelve points of damage. Yep. And the second one. That one misses. Sixteen. Oh, okay. Uh, and that's me. All right. Rune. Uh, technical question again. Um, so, if I use uh, a spell and it has a spell attack, it's a mm -hmm. it's a spell attack. Does that class as an attack action? Yes. Okay. So, if I use, I mean, I, I don't think I have any war priest left. Uh, but if I used that, I could use war priest in the future to take another attack. Yeah. Oh, okay, cool. Sorry, I think it's right. on the wording of War Priest. Yeah. Mm, it, it says say just when you use the attack action, you can make... It's an attack action and a spell action. Are oh, oh, are they different things? Okay, right. Yeah. See, I, I would say that a spell attack... If, if, it's, if a spell attack went first, yeah. then that would be your action. Okay. And then you could probably... Then I would say you can use War Priest after that to make him a physical attack. Okay. Right. Okay. Cool. I mean, I don't have any left now, so I used it, but um, that's good for future reference. Okay. Um, right. So what I am going to do is I'm getting a little low on slots and stuff now, so I'm going to conserve uh, slots. Can I get right up to it? I can. Um, I don't know how I'm going to get past Bonk though. I mean, you can probably go. You probably just tap him on the shoulder and get around him. I'll do that the then. Same time. I'll just be like, uh, "On your right, big guy," and coming yeah. through. I'll get up to. Just, uh, as I throw the javelin, I just flatten myself against the wall and <laughs> see a little blur run past me. Yep. Uh, and I will also use inflict wounds. Ooh. Uh, Boom. Hopefully. There you go. Uh, 20. 20 hits, yep. Nice. Yep, I had to look at that for a second. I couldn't, I couldn't, I couldn't, I couldn't, I couldn't get that straight in my head for a minute there. It's weird. Okay, cool. Yep, so you, you run up to it and you put your hand out and press your hand against it as it's swinging at Rickel, touching it in the side. It's now got two sets of darkened fur areas on each side there. Yeah. Rears back and roars in pain and looks down at you with his pale for red eyes and his dripping jaws. It looks really, really rough now. It looks like it is only being kept up out of spite. Okay. Cool. Uh, that's me done. Okay. So as you come up and you touch the side of it, and you let your necrotic um, damage kind of spread across its side, it looks at you and it reaches its own hand out to touch you. Oh. Rune. No. That wasn't part of the deal. I hit you. You die. <laughs> right. I need you to make a constitution saving throw. Ooh, mama. Okay. Where are we? It's a staggering plus zero to that stat. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. <laughs> that is 40 points of necrotic damage. Oh, oh. 40? Oh. That's yes. a blight. Ooh. <sighs> okay, I am looking really fucking rough <laughs> right now. Really, really, really yeah. rough. Necrotic energy washes over Rune, and as the waves of dark energy hit him, he begins to his skin begins to crack and blacken. And considering that his skin tone anyway is quite light, it, it is really, really obvious that he is is looking very, very poorly now. Oh shit. Uh, mm. Yeah, no, no amount of cutting words is going to stop that, is it? Never. Even less than the damage by D8. <laughs> yeah, maybe I'll do that. I mean, yeah, it's there to be used. I will, I will use cutting words. 
Okay. Uh, I'll, I'll shout, Ah, oh, you filthy fucking ape! Um, and that, I guess, is, is is that. Let's just roll... Roll a D8. Oh, well, that's, that's yeah, not bad. So, um, 33 points of damage. Okay. Still not great. Mm. <laughs> right. Funk! As I'm steadying myself and throwing the javelin and seeing uh, Rune get hit with this magical energy, I am going to sprint forward and over the top of my friends, I am going to baseball swing with my big old great axe. Okay. Uh, great weapon master and reckless. 19. Okay. Yep. Oh, yeah. Do I do a merge? Nice. Woof. Well, 30 then. points. Bonk. How do you want to do this? Oh. Yeah. Uh. <laughs> I am going to just catch it in the side of the face and just rip it from uh, uh, from sort of the edge of the mouth outwards and just take a chunk of it with me. Right, so yeah, as, as the, uh, for the rest of you see the obsidian blade come out of nowhere almost as Bonk rushes in, catching it in the side of the face and ripping it open. And as the side of it opens, you can see that the teeth in its mouth goes way too far back into its mouth. Eesh. It almost looks like it's becoming unhinged as the jaw kind of flops open. And it looks at you, Bonk, and you can see its dark red eyes, and it looks at you, and you, can re and you know that you, you have been clocked. It recognizes you, and it's going to remember you. What? Before the, before the creature falls to the ground. Uh, I don't like the remember Fucking word. nasty monkey. <laughs> Everybody okay? I feel pretty yeah, sick. Okay, you look like yeah, you look. <laughs> you look I'm pretty alive. Rough, man. Oh, I'm alive, but uh, I do not feel good. I don't mind saying. I uh, Rickal reaches out to room, grabs hold of his shoulder. Uh, I will cast uh, my preserve life. Divinity um, mm -hmm. Domain What is it? Channel Divinity 40 hit points oh. To you Sir Rune Thank you my friend 40 you say 40 Excellent uh, How's everybody else? Um, are you, do you need some healing too? Uh, I'm, I'm alive Oh I feel so uh, much better Well, little sit down is probably a good idea that was, yeah, a, to... that was a bit of a tough one. Wow. Well, uh, before, uh, before we rest, it's probably a good idea to uh, have a look in this room. I'll just uh, yeah, go over to this room and start seeing. Is there any other exits out of this room? Or... No, this room is... It is coated in just utter, utter filth. No. It is... Oh, no. There is just shit everywhere. Up the walls, on the ceiling. Aww. It is utter, utter bedlam and utterly, utterly disgusting. Um, give me uh, a, a, a perception check. Oop. Perception. Okay. Yeah, so I mean, looking at the wall uh, at the back, you can just about make out little patches of colour coming through. Oh. Um, it does appear something has been covered up by all the feces and whatnot. Okay, uh, I'm going to take some time here, and uh, that lovely cantrip that cleans things—is it prestidigitation? Mm -hmm. gonna, yeah, that one. Yeah, I'm going to. I'm just going to like a foot at a time, just clean a path to that area, and then start um, start cleaning off that wall. Being careful not to actually touch it with my hand. <laughs> okay. Yeah. So you, you 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 start to clean the walls, and a picture emerges, and it's quite it's actually a long picture. It it begins uh, here, uh -huh. and goes all the way around the wall and ends here. Oh, okay. And like a freeze. It's, it's a freeze. I was gonna, I was gonna say a um, collage, but yeah, freeze is better. Um, and at the beginning, 
it shows uh, it's very very crude pictures almost caveman and um, like but it shows uh, monkeys you know very crude monkeys uh-huh. and they appear to be completely normal then as the timeline goes on around you see the monkeys coming in contact with um, human shaped uh, creatures but they have slight deformities to them, like you know, their tiny little horns are stylized, or tails or wings. Right. And you see the pictures of the monkeys um, fighting the humanoids. But eventually the humanoids winning. Mm. And then the apes in enslaved. And then the apes beginning to change. Oh, well, that sucks. And then the apes with wings and tails and, and horns. Oh, and then at, toward, to, and towards the end, it's just scribbles and red and the the uh, artistic equivalent of madness and anger. Okay. Well, I think that. Uh, through this? I don't know. Maybe. I mean, uh, apes are intelligent creatures. It's uh, it's not too uh, too much of a stretch of the imagination. I feel really sorry for him, though. It's a terrible fate to be enslaved by someone that you have no defense against. I feel particularly sorry. You, what? What was that, Bunk? He did try to eat you, though. Well, yeah, but, you know, maybe they wouldn't have if they'd been left alone. If they were maybe. uncorrupted. I feel sorry for this big guy. The ape here, DM, has is, is it stayed the same size or has it actually shrunk down like the ball that we fought? No, not, yeah, unlike the previous ones that you've um, taken care of, this stays exactly the same. It oh. is not, um, you know, shrunk down or anything like that, it is as it was. So Rickhouse just stood kind of in front of it still, just kind of staring at it, almost kind of examining it to a certain extent, just to see if there's anything interesting about it. Um, yeah, what, what kind of, um, you yeah, know, do you want to do a medical check on it or investigate uh, it? Or? Yeah, I suppose, because did, did you say before that it had like a uh, like a stone in its chest or something or uh, something? No, no, it's, no. it's a, a red... It's just a red uh, eyes, wasn't it? No, uh, yeah, yeah, it's got red eyes and it's um, it's chest where, you know, you, in a normal gorilla you would have, you know, the, the bare skin kind of thing. Mm-hmm. Um, in this instance, it's uh, like, a, like a blood red uh, set of scales. Um, oh, okay. That go from its chest down to its um, groin area. So yeah, just uh, just just examining it, trying to just get just of is it a real creature or has it been created or something? Um, give me a medicine check. Can I assist with this? Yes, if you want to give uh, give him assistance, um, Rickon, you can roll with advantage. Yeah. Okay. Twenty. That's good. Oh, yeah. Nice. So, yeah, I mean, despite not having come across a creature like this before, uh, you, you know, upon examination, you do come to the conclusion that it's not dissimilar from a human physiology. Um, the mutations, which is just anything you can really think of, um, appear to be part of the creature itself. It doesn't look like it's been added or grafted on. Mm-hmm. Uh, they are part of it. They haven't been, you know. Uh, spliced onto it or anything like that. Um, its jaw, uh, unlike a human jaw, is split in the middle and opens up when you kind of prod it with your mace. Not wanting to get your hands yeah. too close to it. Um, <laughs> there are two long uh, fangs at the tip of each uh, part of the jaw. Uh, it looks like it's been designed to clamp on. So it does appear that this may have um, evolved this way to actually. Uh, as a, a predatory method of lashing onto his prey. Yeah. Mm. Okay. Uh, we still haven't found whoever is uh, controlling these. No. no, I think we must have missed something. I think we did. Think uh, we must have missed a, a, a door back there. I've been thinking about it. I mean, I, I, I think we assumed that those, the patrols of uh, undead came from here, but but where where were they? I mean, that's the right. You know what I mean? 
Yeah, we need I mean, to. Uh, they we need could to... have been. They could have been across the other side of the bridge, but I mean, it seems. I don't know. We need to comb the area yeah, again. I think, yeah, I think we might have missed like a secret door or something. There is. We uh, needed to get a trophy, didn't we? Of the things that we killed. Isn't that what we have to do? Well, I think that's a bonus, but uh, it's probably nowhere near our primary ob objective. If we see something nice, we could. I mean, I was just going to cut off it. his hand. Um, his hand, monkey, monkey paw. Yeah, mo monkey, monkey hand. Thing. Well, I was thinking because this is such a uh, unique creature, uh, as morbid as it sounds, perhaps his head. Um, it's quite a big head. Um, and I slightly, I slightly ruined it with um, <laughs> with that last hit. Yeah. I realised after the fact that we probably should have kept the head intact, but I, I kind of broke that. Sorry. I think a good taxidermist can still work with that. Um, I mean, shall I, shall I take its head off? Yeah. Yeah. We would have to so. carry it. Uh. I suppose, but you know, I I, th I think uh, I think this would be of interest to the guild. All right, uh, I'd like to oh. try and remove its head. Right, um, give me a dexterity check, a dexterity check, yeah, to see how, how well you can get this back. thing off without <laughs> destroying it. Okay, I'm fairly good at these. I said fairly. <laughs> very, uh, fairly. It's not. It's not trying to get away or anything. Yeah. Um. And it's quite a large target. So yeah. No. no, no that's fine. You, you. You. kind of. You. You get a good aim first. You like. You kind of. You manage to get it over onto its back and get its head. Uh. To. You know. To be backwards so its neck. Its, its neck is exposed. And you know. After, upon doing that, you hack away at it a few times. It's surprisingly tough. You're used to your axe being able to carve through quite, you know, things quite easily, but yeah, this this takes a little bit of uh, of cutting. But you do, you get it off. And you now have a, uh, a half fiend dire ape head. Um, who's got to carry this? Uh, do we I... have one of those magical bags, or is it too big? It won't. Will it fit in? It will not fit in the hat. The hat, okay, it won't fit in the hat. We're okay. just gonna, we're just going to have to uh, wrap it in something, yeah, or put it in a large sack. Right. What have I got in my bag? Um, um, I know this is a long shot, but does anybody have a spare pair of boots? <laughs> uh, uh, no. I'm really no. sorry, but hey. Perhaps some of those uh, zombies out there don't need their boots anymore. Oh, zombie boots. I uh, know it's it's not great, but you know they're old and dry and desiccated. It's not like they're going to have a fungal uh, foot okay. problem. We can, we can, I suppose we can have a look. Better than nothing, I suppose. Yeah, it's better than walking around barefoot. I'll make a note, Troy, that I've picked up my javelins again. Okay, very good. Um, um, how how is everybody's to... magical resources looking? I'm I'm pretty well, tapped if, out. If we're taking a short rest, then I'm I'm back to normal. Are we uh, officially taking a short rest? Because if so, I would uh, drop a couple hit die. Uh, uh, I would be okay for a for a sit down. Yeah, I think for what we've just been through, I think. Taking a sit down for a while is, uh, is certainly advisable. Yeah, uh, we can have a uh, short rest. Uh, I mean, I'm pre pretty tapped. I'm out of magic, but I can still fight. You know, I've still got my sword. Yeah, uh, if if you guys want to have a sit down, uh, I'll sit against the door so nothing else can come through to us. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. The only thing that worries me, guys, uh, I don't know about you, but having spent what I believe to have been two two nights down here, we've had I two mean, long, I long don't... rests. We're into yeah, our third day at least. But... I was uh, going to save a spell 
for uh, contacting the ship to let them know we are still alive and maybe not to leave yet. Yeah, yeah, maybe. I think we have this short rest, have a little look around, and then certainly send a message to, to kind of say maybe we need the one more day. Um, yeah, I I can't even tell what time it is, how long we've been down here. So. I th- I I would I would guess it's been less than forty eight hours. I think it has been less than 48 because we've been resting as much as we need to and then getting back on it straight away so um, I mean I cannot mm-hmm. send I cannot send them a message now I am saving uh, I am saving that uh, amount of power to give us a place to rest mm-hmm. that's fine uh-huh. yeah I think we'll be okay and I mean if if we're short on time when we get out here I think I have an idea to get us back to the ship very quickly. Okay. Well, I mean, much quicker than if we get out of here. here I mean, we, yeah, if we get out of here fairly soon, then I can send a message to get them to come back. I mean, they wouldn't have, have sailed too far. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah. So. Okay. If you're going to be taking a short rest, then uh, roll your hit dice to get some hit points back. I'm taking I my have. three. Yeah, yeah I used four. Going to roll two, I think. Oh, yeah. what was it? Let's have a look. What did I roll? Two. I rolled one d ten. I rolled twice. I'm sure I did. I'm going to roll another one because I. I used two in my. Oh well, that's fucking brilliant, isn't it? Oh, oh no. <laughs> yeah. Well, you know. What is going on with you today? <laughs> today, <laughs> every day, every no, this is loud day. This seems even worse than usual. I mean, you, you're usually terrible at rolling dice. <laughs> I'm, o- I'm only that. I'm only six Tonight off seems max. Even worse. I'm only six off max now, Fair so enough. it's not so bad. I mean, right. yeah. <laughs> uh, I'm just over half, so I'm okay. Still, oh, probably okay. more than you lot. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah. My max is sixty-eight. Your max is sixty-eight. Mm-hmm. Oh, I'm above you. Mm-hmm. Standard. <laughs> right, shall we? Um, let's carry on. Uh, like I say, I've, yeah. I'm saving my last big spell to give us a place to rest, so I will be out of magic. Uh, and I, I'm afraid my vocal cords are a little fried, so I can't exactly give loud encouragement either. If you need to use that spell, then we just, you know, sleep on the floor. Fair. If if it's yeah, yeah, if it's I mean, a case of sleeping nice yeah. or dying. Oh yeah, I wouldn't let anything bad happen to us if I need to use it, uh, and it would get us out of a situation. Then I would do it. But uh, yeah, just so you know, I am. Uh, I'm not. I am. I am. I am going with the sword and shield from now on. That's all right. I'll I'll look after you. Thank you, Bunk. Right, friends. Are we ready to go back through this door? Yeah. Uh, ready as I'll ever be. All right. I will pull the last javelin out of the door that I'd barred it mm-hmm. with, stow it, grab the uh, the axe and the head. <laughs> <laughs> holding the head by the hair on the top of it uh, once, and the once we over a shoulder once we find one of the zombies bodies we can like we can get one of their shirts or something or a coat and make a yeah. makeshift bag out of it yeah whilst uh, Grey is stealing their boots <laughs> dead man's boots exactly what happened to Bonk why did he Teleport backwards. 
Right. Incidentally, as you, as you walk down the corridor, um, and you know, step on certain in certain uh, flagstones, you do hear a clink. Uh. <laughs> Nothing no. happens there. No. Oh, yeah, of course, because you disarmed um, it. We fixed okay. that one. Once I get to this wall, I would like to go. I basically like to go from one end corner to the other, like with my hands flat on the wall, my head close, searching to see if I can see any sort of uh, any anything uneven or anything that would uh, suggest that there might be more than just a stone wall there. Okay, uh, give me an investigation. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, keep eyes out for that fucking spider. Yep. Very good. Uh, that's a twenty. Nice grey. Yeah. So investigating this area, that uh, you look, looking down at the floor, you can see that it appears that the dust in here has been disturbed <clears throat> in this particular area. Ooh. It's possibly in a sweeping motion, as if a as if a door had been opened. <gasps> Where I'm standing, or yeah, pretty much directly in, direct in front of where you're standing. As you run your hands over it, you can feel <laughs> that there is a line in the wall mm -hmm. that may be slightly ra raised um, higher than the other parts. And in investigating a bit further, going backwards and forwards, you do find that there is one brick which appears to be slightly wobbly. Uh. Fiddle my diddle, boys. I think I've found a secret door. Um, could I really? jab at the... Yep. J watch this. And I jab... I want to, like, <sighs> see if this loose brick is, like, pressable. All right. So you press it with your finger. It slides in easily. <gasps> there is a click. <laughs> the dreaded Holy click. Shit. We all freeze. Yeah, we all freeze. The door that you have discovered swings outwards, oh. okay. revealing a room with zombies, skeletons, a white, and what appears to be a an an, an elven woman conducting a board meeting. <laughs> and as the door slides open, everything in the room turns to look at you. Oh dear. <laughs> and the woman immediately starts speaking. You don't understand what she's saying. Rune, however, from where you are, you can't see her from your point of view, I don't think. Mm. Um, but you can understand what she's saying because she is just speaking in Dominion Common. Aha. Uh -huh. And she is babbling. Saying, Please help! I've I've just woken up here. I don't know what's happening. They've brought me here, and I, I uh, help me, please. I uh. What's that? I'd like you to roll initiative, please. Okay. <laughs> oh shit! Uh, uh, Dan, uh, can you potentially reset the Discord server as well? It's jumping in and out for me. Yeah, me too. Okay. Give me a second. Yep. No worries. Uh, where is it? Okay, how's everyone sounding? Uh, say something again. Hello, hello, hello. That's good, yeah. Let's check one, two. I can hear you all good. Is this thing on? Cool. Oh my. Yeah. Yeah, I, I jumped to about 100 ping, uh, but now I'm back down to 21, so... Cool. Thank you all. Where do you see that, by the way? Uh, if you click on the the three green bars next to Voice Connected... Yeah. Or click on Voice Connected, rather. Oh, I hover over it. Out, yeah. It'll pop out where you are, and what your average ping is, and what your last ping is. Okay, cool. Lovely. Thank you. No worries. Right. What did I get? Oh, I'm not top of the pack. Uh, Rick, how can we get your um? Oh, sorry. Yeah. Initiative, please. It's not very high. What <laughs> was mine? Oh, of course, it was only six. Of course. 
That's fine. One of the zombies got minus one. <laughs> oh. <laughs> yeah, but that the, means he's missed the pad. That's the thing. I am zombie. competing with zombies, not the most dexterous of folk <laughs> for my initiative. <laughs> I should not I have a lot higher. <laughs> I have a minus two to my initiative with a different campaign. I should not be I am more. never <laughs> above ten. I have been over I have been in double digits once. <laughs> oh man! Uh. All right. Uh, okay. So, um, as the door slides open and everyone in the room freezes briefly, the kind of tableau is broken slightly by the white pulling its longbow out, and drawing on you, Greg, because you're the one at the very front. Seventeen. Uh, uh, that hits. That's ten points of piercing damage. <coughs> Knocks this arrow again. Uh, 22. Also Knocks hit. A hit. Uh, so that's three points of piercing damage as well. Uh, okay. Okay. You're <coughs> great, Oh, look at all these people <laughs> together, close to each other, and flammable looking. Um. <laughs> <laughs> So, can you describe? I mean, these are obviously undead, like we talked before. But can you explain? Uh, just describe this uh, woman to me again. Um, she, she obviously appears to be like. Mm -hmm. uh, she appears to be Elven. Um, her clothes are um, quite simple. They look like they are robes as opposed to armor that you've seen on the undead creatures walking around. Um, skin is pale. She her eyes are a bit, uh, you know, black rings around her eyes. She looks terrified. Um, and she oh, is okay. ne next to the uh, white, um, who he appeared to have his hand on her shoulder before the door opened, and he's now withdrawn it and is now firing on you. Um, in that case, <clears throat> I shall not cast fireball. <laughs> um, I uh, shall what, fire what, acceptable casualties. <laughs> I shall fire two blasts at this guy here that I'm pinging um, across the table. So the first is a 25. A hit. That's uh, eight points of force damage, and the second is a 14. Uh, sorry, was it the white you were attacking? Or it the was the baldy guy here. The zombie? Uh, zombie is. Uh, oh, yeah, that hits. Uh, so that's nine points of damage. So and then I'm total. just going to step back. Here, out of sight, <laughs> and then, then, then leave it, leave it, leave a, leave a, an empty way for the um, for the bugbear. Well, no, I'm not going to say what I was thinking because I didn't actually say it. So, <laughs> uh, that's my turn. Okay, bonk. Come here, you fucks! All right, one, two. Bonk! No! Oh, oh fuck! <laughs> uh, <laughs> I'm going to cut across Literally. and I'm going to smack the twat in the corner that I've just seen. Uh, I am going to... What am I going to do? Uh, I will <clears throat> hit with Reckless and Great Weapon Master, because fuck it. Okay. <laughs> That's oh, a natural 20. Oh, oh yeah. Oh. <laughs> so, 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 what's that? 24 plus 34? Uh, yep, yeah. so that is 58, 58 points of damage. <laughs> Would you like any poison? <laughs> uh, well, um, yeah, so I mean, for, for, for the rest of you, from your point of view, Bonk goes in the room and disappears around the corner. There is a, a ra, as Bonk tends to do, and there is a, there's a sound of of the the axe cutting through the air. And then, <laughs> in the most comedic fashion, bones seem to start to fly across the doorway that you can see, <laughs> clattering to the floor, uh, with, with, with the sound of a thousand dice being rolled all at once. Uh, <laughs> funny enough, that skeleton is very very dead. Wonderful. Uh, I will move forward 
And second attack, uh, Mr. Baldy Bastard. Okay. Uh, great Weapon Master and Reckless. No, I'll just do this one Reckless. 24. <laughs> yep, that hits. Um... Oh, it should have been two points less. Sorry, because I'm not raging. Hey, funny enough, it still hits. <laughs> no, I mean, I mean, I mean the damage on the other guy. Oh, I don't know whether that enough, changes funny enough, anything. It still dies. Excellent. <laughs> uh, so this was just two-handed damage. Twenty-three. Yep. Okay. So yeah, you you smash the um, skeleton into into dice run across and slash at the zombie and it just falls into two pieces and it doesn't start that. Oh, actually, hold on a minute. 23... Uh, stand by. Hold on. Hold on. I keep on forgetting to do this. Oh, we don't fight that. Okay, yeah, no, it dies. <laughs> it uh, is an XX zombie. Wonderful. <laughs> And because I've killed something in my turn, I can use a bonus action to attack because of Great Weapon Master. Mm -hmm. So I am going to Great Weapon Master Reckless on the dickhead. Okay. That's oh. another natural 20. <laughs> oh, that's a double that 20. Yeah, double that wow. 20. Look at that. That's a 1 in 400. That's fun. Yeah, that's just greedy. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> Uh, two-handed, without rage, great weapon master. Uh, so that's 31, plus, plus the, 12. So the 24. So... No, 57. 57. Uh, but minus yeah, 2 to take off the rage, 55. so... 55, 55. points right. of damage. Oof. Yeah, it's a massive swing into this one, and you see its armor crumple across its chest, and... It opens up to see that the inside of its chest cavity is just dust and bone. Um, it comes puffing out as you cut into it, but it's still standing. Uh, I'm going to look up, see the elven woman, and go, Who the fuck are you? What are you doing here? <laughs> and that's me. <laughs> okay. Right. So, the zombie is going to... Um, oh, fuck, I think we're 20 feet. Not very far, it turns out. Stupid zombies. Uh, it's not going to be to climb across the table because it's a fucking zombie. <laughs> <laughs> but it'll be to go over there, so that's fine. Imagine a zombie trying to climb on a table. We can eat all fucking day. <laughs> right, so, oops, no. Clicky, clicky, everything. Right, so it's going to take a slam at you. Bonk. 22! That hits. Uh, massive two points of bloody damage. Look at that. It actually manages to hit you and gets two points of damage. Yep. Of course. <sighs> okay. I can't even Rick half. Up. It's a one. No. <laughs> Rick Um, Have we, the those of us that are outside the door, have we seen, roughly kind of seen and heard what's going on? No, uh, you can see what your character can see. Okay. Um, so having heard what's going on, I, I turn to the other two and like, should we leave Bog to this? He sounds like he's doing okay. <laughs> <laughs> I think, uh, I mean, it would be quite the spectacle, but I think uh, we should err okay. on the side of caution. So, uh, afterwards, we need to have a chat with <laughs> about bottlenecks. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, okay, so Agreed. what I will do, I've, I've seen the zombies step into the doorway, and I'm going to step forward. And I'm gonna aim for the back of his head with a mace strike. Mm. That'd be a 24 to hit. Eight points of damage, and then I'll use my divine strike as well. Okay. That will be Ooh, another two. So Ooh. ten, ten two. Yep. So there's a flash of golden light as the mace impacts, and the back of its skull caves in slightly, and brain starts to leak out and go down the back of its neck. It doesn't seem to pay you any heat. Um, and just to get out of the way, I'm just going to step back to where I was there, if he's not paying me any attention. Okay. Right then. Are you good? Yep, I'm finished. Okay. So the skeleton here saw you come in and go back out again, so it's going to follow you out of the room. 
Smash. I think it's Slash is looking for a P. So I'm guessing that hits, but again, shocking yeah. damage. Uh, three points of slashing damage. <laughs> um, slashing, I will. <laughs> I'm going to reduce that by three, so it will be zero damage. <laughs> okay. Skeletons and zombies. I mean, they're cheap, but you get what you pay for. It's payback for the <laughs> 40 points of damage you did with that blight. Yeah, I see the sword come towards me, it takes the slash, and I just look down and go, Is, is that it? <laughs> oh. <laughs> okay. Sick him! <laughs> Rude. Yes. Uh, Alright, so. Uh, well, this guy here is obviously, uh, he's obviously uh, asking for it, so I am going to take my longsword. And giving a fucking good hiding. Hopefully. Okay. If I don't roll shit again. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Do it. Ew. Oh my god. Oh, oh no. <laughs> How many uh, now? That's five four. tonight. <laughs> five one. Four or five, yeah. yeah. Let me just see if fucking there's hell. anything else I have. Except I'm luck. out Try of again. luck. Uh, oh. I have an action surge because that's an uh, that's a short rest. So I'm going to use my action surge. Uh, oh, I got my bardic inspirations back. Oh, of course, short rest. Okay, I'm going to use action surge and try again. I don't hold any hope that it's actually going to hit, but I'm going to try anyway because why not? Oh, oh, that's oh, that's better. better. Yeah. Uh, was it one-handed or two-handed? Uh, one-handed. One-handed with rage. Or without rage. Without no. rage. <laughs> and it's my line, bitch. <laughs> so six points. Yeah. Yep, so having failed to hit it the first time, you angrily bring your sword back up again. Not even that aiming. It's like, for fuck's sake. And yeah, you hit it. And you're like, oh, oh, cool. Yes. Right, and um, <laughs> that is my turn. Okay, the zombie here, down here, it's gonna lumber, because that's what zombies do, they lumber. And go, <laughs> yeah, it's gonna start making its way up. That, 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 that's it. Right then, um, right, the, right, the white, yeah, look at that, my poem, I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> um, it steps forward, um, I'm gonna move this corpse out of the way, hold on. There you go. So that's forward to you, Bonk. It takes a slash at you with its sword. And misses. Yep. And reaches out his hands to try and touch you. And misses. So, there we go. Yep. That was that was that was a turn, apparently. Alright, Grey. Um I hmm. guess I'll I'll step in here first. Uh first I Ooh. shall um no, fuck the skeleton. I'm gonna attack the uh, the zombie here if I can. Okay. Yep. Uh, so I'm just gonna stab him through the doorway. First attack, that fifteen. Hits. That's six points yep. of damage. Second attack is a is a probable miss. No, eight. that hits. An eight hits. Mm-hmm. Wow. What? Zombies what? don't have high armor class, dude. <laughs> <laughs> okay. oh, that's uh, five five points of damage then. All right. Thank you. And I guess I I'll step again. back again. And so wait, you're you're telling me that my only high roll this session was completely unnecessary. <laughs> <laughs> and in fact, my first attack was only three off. It might be maybe well, less. Um, <laughs> Noted. <laughs> Uh, no, skeletons, the skeletons do have a higher AC than the zombies. Okay. Fair. And you're, and you're attacking skeletons. Okay. Right, too. <laughs> okay. Right, right. Uh, great, done. <laughs> yep. All right, bonk. Just gonna bat his hand away as he tries to touch me. He's like, no! <laughs> Bad zombie! And twat it. All right. Oh, I don't think I that hits. No, it does not. No, shit. Uh, I will do it again. 
Mm. Adds on there either, does it? I don't think so. No, it does not. Oh dear. Hmm. That was surprisingly bad. Wow. <laughs> yeah. That was that was not good. Mm. And we, it has um advantage on you next time. We may have swapped. <laughs> that's, right. Yeah, that's not good. Gonna look at it and go, Oh shit. <laughs> and that's me. Alright, so the zombie behind you. Seventeen? It's once again, look at the damage! Why every single yep. time I've hit one of you, it's been one. I've run, I've run a one for damage three times in a row now. Hey, at least hey, you're I'm, hitting. I'm happy with it. <laughs> Rick, I'll go. Um, okay, the skeleton has stepped forward towards me. I am going... Yeah, I'm just going to keep it simple. I don't want to waste too much knowing that they, they're not super HP heavy. Um, so, Mace Attack! Yeah. Yeah. 15. Okay, that hits. So that's 8 points of damage with the Radiant Strike. Actually, it's actually... Another 8 points. It's actually 16 points of damage for, for the Mace. Ooh. Because, yeah, there we go. So you, you bring your Mace around and you cr it crashes into the arm, breaking straight through the arm and into the ribcage. And you're, you're surprised at your own strength because you essentially cleave halfway through it with, with your mace. And it drops down into a pile of bones in front of you. Cool. Indeed. I just tried to look at Rune like, I kill him! <laughs> oh! <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> that was seemed too easy. Uh, and that ends my turn. All right, Rune. Yes, so uh, I just remembered that I do still have some magic. It's uh, in the form of cantrips, of course. Yes, indeed. So uh, that's good. Um, so what I'm going to do is... Uh, yeah, I will move up to here. And... Sorry. I couldn't tell where the... <laughs> Yeah, no, Things I've, I've so, somehow managed to put the door in the exact wrong place. <laughs> like, uh, when, I, when, I, when I cut this bit out, obviously I wasn't looking at the grid and put it between <laughs> two, two squares. That's fine. <laughs> it's fine by me. Uh, so, let me have a look. I think what I'm probably going to do here is, because um, they're undead, I am going to use uh, Sacred Flame. Mm-hmm. Oh, it didn't need to move, actually, because it's a range of 60 foot, but never mind. Mm -hmm. Point black, sacred, sacred flame into this guy here. Okay. That's a save, isn't it? Or is it an attack? Uh, I can't. Yeah, save. save. Oh, these are yeah, zombies known for their dexterity saves. Yep. <laughs> oh, for saying that, though. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> wow. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Well, yeah, they are. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. apparently so. Uh. You knew it. We all knew it. <laughs> That Actually, one was I, a fucking high jumper in his last life. No, no, no. no. I mean, in, this, in this case, it's in the case of he fired the shot off and the, the, the zombie fell over out of the way and then, then stood up again. <laughs> I'm literally going to, like, drop my arms to the side. I'm going to... Uh, uh, I just drop all pretense of an attack stance. I'm going to turn around to Grey and just go, what's the fucking point? And I'm going to step <laughs> back over here. And I don't care if that means I attack of opportunity against me. Uh, it wasn't in combat with you yet, though, so no way. Uh, okay. Right. <laughs> However, though, it is going to follow you out because you you looked you smelt interesting. <laughs> Eighteen. Um, that misses. Yes, because you're nineteen, aren't you? Yes. Of oh yeah, because you've got fucking ridiculous, ridiculous <laughs> armor, haven't you? <laughs> Not yet, I haven't. <laughs> You wait until I get my armor for a part. Yeah, wait until I get my actually ridiculous armor. Yeah. Uh, yeah so yes. Not making creatures with much higher to hits. Oh, no, 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 it's fine. No, 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 no. It's fine. I have to adapt with you. Or what's the point in playing? Right then. So it's the white stone. <laughs> so, oh, critical hit. Ouchies. Oof. That is sixteen points of slashing, slashing damage. Ouchies. And let's see if we can fail to hit you once again with the bad touch. <laughs> oh no! Oh, 20! <laughs> there we go. Make a um, constitution. 
Yeah, that's that's a bit rude. Mm. Constitution saving through, please. Yep. What's my con modifier? Oh, it's good. Mm, I imagine it is. Yeah. Yep, that saves. So yeah, eight points of necrotic damage. Okay. If I can imagine, I've, I've not been able to touch you, if you'll pardon the expression, for <laughs> every time I've tried to do that. Alright, Ray! Uh, I'm going to bring up my sword above my head and slash down two handed upon the zombie head. Uh, that's 22. It's 7 points. 7 points of damage. If he's still standing, I shall hug the sword out of his uh, skull and do the same again. Mm-hmm. Yep, and 19. And I just nick him this time with four points of damage. Yep. So yeah, you, t- you, get, you get two good hits, but it's still standing. It's still swaying in front of you. Uh, okay. Uh, that's me. Bonk. Ow! You motherfucker! Fair. What's it? Oh, for fuck's sake. <laughs> <laughs> what <Flat> again? <laughs> Come on! Oh, oh. oh my god. <laughs> mm. Put put off by the bad touch, apparently. Um, <laughs> Stand still! <laughs> Alright. That's your turn, I guess. <laughs> <It's like. laughs> That's the fastest my turn's ever fucking gone. Yeah, right. Uh, zombie behind you. 21. Three points of bloody damage. Yeah. Uh, Rico. Okay, I'm gonna kind of hear Bonk kind of almost frustratedly in the room. I'm gonna step through the doorway if I can to here. Squeeze, squeeze past the zombie. <laughs> squeeze between betwixt the two zombies, Ooh, and okay. I would like to fire a guiding bolt at the white. Oh, very good. Uh, so that will be. Yep, that's it. 17 to hit. Uh, 17 points of damage. Not bad, Dub. Um, and yeah, I'll end my turn there. Okay. Rune. Hmm. Rune indeed. Uh, <laughs> yes, indeed. I, I'm starting to get angry. Uh, and I am yeah I'm just gonna go for um, longsword hits on this chap here yep that hits hey yep, so, so that'll be your, in, uh, the one handed yep in your frustration you bring your ha- your sword around and you hack at it and the angle is such that you catch it in the side of the neck and it starts to dig through uh, let me see. Hold on a minute. I need to do a thing. I need to do do the thing. Uh, <laughs> uh, that fails. Okay, so yeah, it, you you cleave through its neck. Its head drops to the floor, and as the, as does the rest of the zombie shortly afterwards. Excellent. Ha! I fucking got one. Right. Who's next? That's me. Uh, next, next <laughs> is the white, who, uh, having been able, been had, had luck last time, is going to hit you for twenty-one uh, with seven points of slashing damage. Bonk. Jesus. Uh, yeah, that 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 hits. Yep. Oh dear. And once again, he's going to try and drain your life force, but fail horribly because he can't rough shit. All right, Gray. Um, I guess I can now step onto the dead. Well, it was already dead, I guess, but uh, the fallen body of the zombie. It's dead. Uh, and I will start stabbing through the doorway again to, to uh, catch the other zombie that's here. Okay. Um, I'll say this is one-handed, because I think two-handed swing through the door is going to be tricky. Uh, uh, ten. Yep. So that's uh, six, and my second attack is... Uh, it's a hit, but it's uh, again only four. Mm. Oh, yeah, so you, take, you, kind of, you, you kind of poke it twice in the back, and it goes. You know, there's very little resistance as your blade slides into its body, and you pull it out again, and you do it again, and you pull it out again, and you wait for a second, and it doesn't fall over. It's like, oh, okay. In, out, in, out, shake it all about. Yep, you do the zombie cookie, and you turn around. 
Would it be actually uh, possible for you to just squeeze dead. through here and get past? Yes, I mean, I, I always I, I always assume that unless you're trying to get past an, un, an, an unwilling target, then your your teammates yeah. will be like, yep, yeah, go past, squeeze in, suck your gut in. Fair. Okay, in that case, I will have I will squeeze through to here. Uh, and that's my turn. Okay. Bonk. Now seeing my target glowing, mm -hmm. uh, I am just gonna try and hit it, taking the advantage from yep. the guiding bolt. Yes. Twenty six. Where were those nineteen? <clears throat> That's 21 points of damage. Right. So in your rage, no actual rage, obviously, but you know, regular person rage, mm -hmm. uh, you bring your axe around after being, uh, you know, you're taking a, a, actually a surprising amount of damage from this thing, more than you're used to. Uh, so yeah, in your rage, you bring your sword, uh, your axe around, you cleave it in half at the waist, both bits falling to the ground uh, as the creature dies. Wonderful. Excellent. Uh, and I will spin around and see that there's another one within range of me mm -hmm. uh, and I will just twat it one 25 yep, yep. 9 oh. damage oh. Yep. so you spin around in an arc luckily your um, teammates aren't anywhere near you um, bringing your, sword, uh, your axe around and you slice this one across the stomach it's innards begin to fall out decayed rotting innards innards and it <laughs> ooh okay uh, it looks like it's about to fall but just manages to keep itself upright what the fuck is wrong with you bonus action because I killed something mm -hmm. another yep, hit yep 23 points of damage. Yep, so yeah, you bring your axe around the first time and you cut its stomach open, its bits start to fall out. It stumbles briefly, but then brings its head up to look at you, the baleful green glow in its eyes making contact with yours. And looking at you, you're just like, oh, fuck off, and smack it again, and it dies. Yes. <laughs> so seeing all of the everything fall around you, the elf woman runs it over to you, Grey. And she's jabbering at you in a language that you don't understand and she puts her hand on your arm, fear in her eyes um, can you make a constitution saving throw please? Fuck oh, what shit, shit. Bitch. sorry that caught me off guard constitution <laughs> saving throw sneaky bitch <laughs> Ooh, oh, you apologise no. for saying sneaky bitch, and I'm just out here blatantly calling them cunts. <laughs> <laughs> so you take seven points of necrotic damage, and your maximum hit points are now reduced by seven until you have a long oh. rest. And as she run, as she comes over to you and touches you, you look at her, and her quite pretty elven face begins to sink, and the skin begin begins to go sallow. The eyes uh, disappear to be replaced by two glowing orbs. Of course. As the disguise self spell drops. Oh, no. Nope. Mm. There's another fucking white. Is that an initiative order? They should have used that? fireball. Tis <laughs> 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 Possibly something more than a white, I imagine. Um, but yes, great, it's now your turn. Mother... If we, uh, I think we skipped order. I, I it did, just I, long, wasn't I it? I may have that's accidentally true. put it into order there. Hold on. Yeah, it was uh, just yeah. me. So there we go. There we yeah, go. So we yep. Um. Okay. Yeah. So having, yeah. So having <laughs> seen this thing, I walk up to Gray, do something to him, and him suffer some damage, and then essentially revert back to its original self. I'd, in shock, a bit unsure what to do, um, but I will. Um, I will just cast a sacred flame upon it. So... Okay. Oh, really? <laughs> <laughs> if it hits, but it's a DC 16. Oh, man. Yeah. Wow. 
Yep, no, that hits. It. Two whole it points of damage. Light <laughs> you, your flame lightly brushes its skin, giving a slight tan. It. Yeah. For the narrative, it worked quite well because I was quite unsure what to do <laughs> and just kind of went. Ah. Oh, oh. <laughs> yeah, and that will. Uh... Actually, what I will do as a bonus action, mm -hmm. I will cast Shield of Faith upon Gray. Okay. Which is a uh, plus two to AC. Ooh, very nice. Uh, and then a plus two, you say? Plus, plus two. two to your AC. Plus two, okay. Right. Is that all, Gr uh, Rickle? Yes, that's the end. Okay. Right, rune. Okay. Uh, right, I will. Oh, these are all bodies, so I'm just going to step over them. Uh, where is she? Oh, she's here, isn't she? Uh, okay, let me just check how much movement I just took. So, ten. Okay. Uh, right. So, uh, I'm going to move to here. And, uh, in her own language, I'm going to say, Your tricks won't work today, bitch. And I will swing at her with a long sword again. Okay. That hits. Okay, and so that's five damage with the long sword. Mm -hmm. uh, and hmm. uh, let me just see. Uh, yeah, I'm going to inspire Gray. Yep. Um, uh, and I'm going to say uh, <clears throat> most of the people I know who speak that language are not good do not feel bad about killing this one and I'm going to bolster his resolve give him an inspiration mm -hmm. dice and that's my turn okay great yeah um, feeling angry and a little bit embarrassed that I've been tricked and I've missed the chance to uh, cast Firewall. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, please don't do that now. I'm going to start... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm just going to start swinging frantically at this uh, this thing before me. So, the first attack. Uh, it's only 13. That one misses. Uh, and the second attack. It's even less than that. So, I guess that's Awesome. All done. Yeah, brilliant. Yes. Um, oh no. Yeah. Sorry. What did you give me, Dan? Inspiration. One d eight. Okay. Uh, uh, no, I'll leave it. Okay. Well, that's me then. Right. So the having let go of your arm, Gray, it brings both of its hands around. You can see a green glow in both hands as it puts them towards you and streamers of light begin to come out of it and strike you in the chest uh, that misses and that one hits uh, so you take 9 points in the crossy damage grave ball mm -hmm. oh, damn. okay uh, right, bonk uh, seeing that this has happened I'm just going to look at her I just go, well, there's another one. And I'm going to come round and I'm going to twat her. <laughs> okay. So, simple and to the point. Simple and to the point. I'm going to lift up my axe and I'm just going to slam it down, aiming for the back of her head. Okay. That one misses. And second one is an uppercut. Oh. My God. God. <laughs> oh man. You're actually also you're rolling a lot of ones. Oh, yeah. yeah. I, I don't well, know. I fucking low I numbers. slipped on Gray's piss or something. I don't know. <laughs> There's a lot of this going on. <laughs> what is piss or <laughs> slipped on his piss. <laughs> ah, the old slip. Alright, I'll Yeah, that was up in the other room, definitely. <laughs> Well, you've had a rest since then. You may have, you might have you know, replenished these fluids. 
<laughs> That's just trickled down the fucking hole. <laughs> okay, that all bonk. Uh, because I can't do fuck all. Okay, Rico. Okay, I am gonna see where I am. Not the. I've got a kind of view of the monster. Uh, the the uh, white. Uh, but I'm gonna get myself into a slightly better position. I'm gonna step essentially on this zombie here, on his battered <laughs> corpse. Uh, and I'm gonna fire a guiding bolt through between grey and blue. Uh, a 14. Uh, 14 misses. Oh, that hit. Misses. Damn it. Yeah, damn it. Um, <laughs> um, there's not much more I can do without wasting any spells, so I shall finish my turn there. Okay. Rune. Hmm. Uh, well, I am going to just. Hmm. Yes, shall I? No, I don't have any first level left. Uh, I, I'm so tapped. I'm gonna be useless. Sorry, guys. I'm literally. I'm just going to. Um, I'm just gonna hit her with a sacred flame. Mm -hmm. Hopefully. Dexterity. Oh, Ooh, just. Oh. 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 That's not a bad roll though for the damage there. Um, uh, yeah, I mean, I I can't do anything else. I, I think at the moment, all all I'm trying to do is make sure she can't get away. Mm -hmm. So I'm yeah. So I'm not going to go anywhere. I'm literally going to stay stay in her face and kind of cut off her movement from this angle. And uh, that's right. that's me done. Yeah. Right. Great. Yeah, I'm I'm. I'm angry. I'm just going to keep on going. Mm -hmm. So first attack, fifteen. Oh, he angry. Hit. Does that hit? Yep. Okay, six points of damage, and the mm -hmm. second attack. Oh, oh, oh! oh yes, good. that's better. That um, okay, so fuck it. I'm actually going to use my opportunity now to uh, unload on it. Um, so I'm going to burn a spell slot. Mm -hmm. Use Eldritch Smite. Ooh. So, um, for some reason, I can't see the the uh, the full result there. Well, I can't even see what my damage was. Eight damage, eight slashing damage on that last one. Yep. Okay, so there's another <laughs> eight on that. E E E. So that's sixteen. <laughs> yeah. Yep. Plus a shitload of D8s. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> will also get doubled. <laughs> yeah, exactly. It's oh. a shitload of D8. So, oh, come on. So, um, the, as I swing with the second attack, it's I, it's almost like a um, uh, it's like a time uh, a time ramp in, in you see sometimes in films. So as I swing back, time kind of slows down. And then as the sword comes forward, it speeds up again and then gets even faster. And almost oh, as if the blade is... Here. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> the blade is like cutting through not just time but space itself. And, uh, the blade closes <laughs> slightly and impacts and uh, re releases an incredible amount of force, which does Oof. Oof. that much damage. Jesus! Oh, damn. Doubled. I can't see. No, that it, it would no, that normally is... be five d eight. So okay. So it's forty six um, plus the. Oh no! Wait. That's f incorrect, isn't it? Huh? It, yeah, I, sorry, I've just rolled 10d8, but it should be 5d8 plus the maximum 5. So if I just take the first 5 rolls... Okay, I'm happy with that because it's only because the, the, the second 5 yeah. are the highest ones. Because <laughs> uh, that would be 17 plus 40, so 47 plus the 16 from the, the normal sword damage. Uh, which Oof. would make 57, 63, 63 points of damage. Oof. Damn. Does that sound you right? Just, you just broke my damage record. <laughs> no, that's not right. Sorry. Is it not? So I'm okay, bad so with maths, so I'm gonna step out. Right. <laughs> if, we, if, if we're doing it the way that we, we are doing it, so you get the first five D eight 
as the maximum number. So yeah, that's so 40. Uh, that's 40. Yeah, exactly. Plus the actual roll. So that's 50. Top row, so that would be 17. So that's uh, 57. 57. Plus your 16. Yeah, yeah. so it's yeah. 67. 73. <sighs> Jesus. Massive. You just smashed my. Uh, my damage. That's the that's number. the current highest record, yeah. Yeah. Um, so yeah, with an immense <clears throat> amount of force, the blade comes around, and you all feel it in in right down to your soul. The the pressure wave that comes off it doesn't knock you off your feet, but you feel it blast through you, and it is like a a, a force of it's like being burnt, but without the pain. You feel the actual the the, the will the will of Shelling just goes <laughs> reverberates around the entire room, down the <laughs> corridors, up into the rooms you've already been in, and the creature in front of you just collapses into dust. Oh. Beautiful, nice. What on earth was that, Gray? <laughs> Where the I, fuck have you been hiding that? That was amazing! I, I, uh, I'm not quite sure. Gee, uh, I, fuck. I don't know where that came from. I need to do that more often. Fuck. <laughs> that <laughs> was <Yeah>. awesome! <laughs> wow. That, uh, that, that definitely took a little bit out of me, but I, I, I think I can do it again. That was pretty fucking great. Well, yeah, I mean, as, as much as I'd love to just stand there and chat about how cool I am, uh, we have two corridors we need to check now because uh, I don't know if we're alone. Uh, yeah. this, this one's, this one, there's a dead end. Dead end? Yeah. Okay. And this one? Uh, I haven't got that far yet. Oh, that looks like it's... Another... Oh, fuck. That must just lead back to where we come from. Do we fuck have to this check? place! Do we have to check <laughs> yeah. for another secret door or something, or...? I guess I'm gonna... Yeah, I, I guess I ha we have to. I, well, I, the, I'm the, not, I'm not very good are, at that. While the other guys are searching, can I just have a check on these... Zombies on the whites. See if there's anything of interest on them. Yeah, I was going to do um, the same to this this one here. Yep. So it doesn't have any weapons on it. Okay. Um, it does, the you you recognise the armour rune? Yeah. Um, as being uh, a classic style of Dominion. Like an um, an older style. Much older, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, it's it's come along a few. It's come along quite a bit in the years um, since this was in, this was in fashion, if you will. Yeah. Um, it does have boots. You notice? <laughs> oh yeah, what size? What size? <laughs> Gray, I I whip the boots off and chuck them at Gray. Go try those. Oh, Are they wearable? Is there the, feet still in them? For the sake of narrative, <laughs> we'll say that they are a little bit big, but they fit mostly fine. <laughs> okay, I've they're, a bit, they're a bit musty. <clears throat> Put them on. Yeah. <laughs> Yes, um, the, the, the the zombies don't have any anything on them of interest. The uh, skeletons are piles of bones with rusty cutlasses. Not much else. Okay. Hmm. Okay, guys, there must be. I mean, I must be. I don't know if there must be, but I I really hope there is uh, another uh, another door here somewhere because I'm fucking all out of ideas. Well, I guess now you know what you're looking for. Raquel looks I, I, down and examines the table, the top of the table, underneath the table, anything hmm. of interest there? Um, it appears to have once been a very nicely kept um, table, probably for uh, working out rosters on, perhaps, when this was uh, used as an actual living being's uh, base of operations. Now, though, it appears to be mostly rotted through. doesn't look like it's been used for a long time. And nothing underneath it? Nope. Hmm. There goes that theory. Apart from the floor, of course. Okay, I, yes. I, I would like to start checking walls again. Mm -hmm. Investigation. So 
similar to before, flat hand, giving it a wipe, wax on, wax off. <laughs> oh, Ooh. There's definitely a wall there. <laughs> it's a wall. It's it's a wally wall. It is one of the it is one of the most walliest walls you've ever seen. It's very it's it's it's, it's a nondescript wall, but it is still a wall. Sherlock yeah, Gray I'm Holmes. Blinded by my frustration. <clears throat> Whereas, there must be a fucking wall here somewhere. <laughs> I'm so confused, yeah. Um, rude. <laughs> I, yeah. I, I think he's lost it. Uh, he's touching the wall, well, shouting about finding a wall. I mean, yeah, I think he's getting his words modeled up, but he's, uh, his theory is sound. I mean, that's how he found this one. We need to find nice. another. That's that's fair. Hmm. I'm Can going to do the same DM with this corridor, investigate these walls, the floor down here. Yep, give me investigation. And I'm going to do the same on the on the <laughs> main walls. <laughs> now that I'll we all know kind of what we're after. I'll it's quite dark in this corridor. Advantage. These are really cool walls, guys. Really cool. Oh, now? Yes. <laughs> I bet there is an oh. even one here. <laughs> uh, you know, I'd love to say that there wasn't, but there is. Oh, there is. Hey, yeah. ah! Oh! <laughs> <laughs> I actually mm. did something useful. <laughs> Very nice. Literally uh, right in front of the place you were standing. Like, <laughs> oh, that was fate. Pure Brilliant. fate. I can't get hold of the. I cannot get hold of the fucking line for the for the, 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 the dynamic. Come here, you bastard! As soon as I see him open the door, I want to jump on the table and raise my sword and say. Oh, Let him sake. come! <laughs> oh! <gasps> well. That's a... I think I found a ladder. <laughs> That's a ladder. How many are there, Rune? One, <laughs> two, Just three, one. Well, four, we'll five, take care of six, him, no trouble. seven, eight, what? nine. What? How many? I'm, count I I'm counting the rungs. Oh, oh thank God. <laughs> yeah, it's a, it's a ladder, guys. I found a ladder. Oh, am I gonna well, fit down there or up there? Is it up or down? I think it goes up. Uh, it doesn't need to go up. Am I gonna fit up there? It's it's about five foot wide, so you should be. It'll be a bit of a squeeze. You'll be fine. I guess we're going up the ladder then. I mean, uh, um. Right, do, do you we... want me to go first, or do you want to take it? Let's um, make sure we check this. The last ladder we went up certainly had traps. Let's uh, double check this. Uh, Triple check it. If that this is, is why you're the smart one. Hey, no, hey. you're the shiny one. He yeah. was the smart one. I've Shit! Got, I've got a crazy idea. Uh, Rakal, how how are you with uh, spells? Are you good? How many do you have? Um, um, okay, I have some some of my um, primary levels and, I, and then I have some of my higher levels but uh, I'm, uh, I'm okay at the moment. Right, okay. I mean, I am tapped out completely. Um, uh, Gray, how are you doing for magic? Uh, I'm okay. If you're talking about long rest, I don't think we can take another long rest. Okay. Uh, I mean, like, rules-wise. Yeah, how long have we been up? Yeah, it's not, not long. long. Is it, is it's it, it's just long. been a very action-packed 45 minutes. Yeah, we yeah. fought a gorilla, <laughs> and that was about it. Some skeletons. Right. Well, I, uh, yeah, I peaked early. So, uh, I mean, I'm happy to go, but I might have to take a little bit of a back seat and just kind of help where I can. That's fine, man. But if you guys are good, then I'm good. I mean... Uh, yeah, I mean... I'm well, alright. We are going to I need... Think, uh, I think we have to go on. Yeah. I, I don't, we don't yeah. have a choice. Yeah, let's keep going. I'm, I mean, I'm cool. 
But uh, be careful. Right. We'll remember this place is riddled with traps. Yeah, I, I'd like to check the ladder for traps, please. All right, investigate, or if you want to use your thieves' tools, you can do. If, you want to, if that gives you a better bonus. It's the same. Okay. Uh, okay, 15. 15. So, yep. So you start, you, you test the first couple of rungs, yeah, gingerly, prodding them. These ones, you, you feel a little bit more confident with these because they appear to be wooden, it appears to be a wooden ladder. Whereas all the ones you've had problems with previously have either been metal rungs um, hammered into stone or have been made of stone themselves. So you feel a little bit more confident with these. But it doesn't stop you from being cautious. Um, so, yep, you check the first couple of rungs. They all, they appear to be solid. They appear to be wooden. Nothing moves. So you start making your way up. Yep. I'll take this, guys. I'm right behind you. Okay. I, I don't mind going uh, third. or It depends. So where do you want to go, Rekal? Yeah, I'll hang back at the back. You... Uh, Go before me. Okay. Say I've got I've got a bit left in me. Fair enough. Thank you. Okay, so you start making your way up, up the ladder, and it appears to be reasonably nondescript compared to some of the uh, the previous two uh, ladder tunnels you've had to climb up. This one is square as opposed to round. Um, it's the same kind of inlaid stonework that you've experienced in the corridors below. And above you, well, it's, it's not, a, not a huge amount of uh, distance. It's probably about 40 or 50 feet. Uh, and above you can see a closed wooden trapdoor. I shall do my quick once over, checking it's all fine. Mm -hmm. Yep, when that is. I mean, you 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 prod, you prod it, you poke it, you check the edges, you look for wires, you look for hidden buttons, hidden levers, hidden anything. This appears to be absolutely fine. Okay, then I will try and open it okay. slowly yeah, you you... and silently. Okay. So you push it open ever so slightly over the top of your head, poke, poke it, you know, your eyes peering over the top, and you appear to be in a long dark corridor <clears throat> okay if the corridor appears to be empty I will rise from the door and allow my comrades to follow me uh, I did the equivalent of turn it off and back on again yeah fair. <laughs> <laughs> all right so so we get Ten extra minutes of stoppage time. <laughs> no. Oh man. Oh. <laughs> I'm feeling vengeful. <laughs> Hear what we can now. Quick, let's like run, run, run. run. <laughs> uh, I'm no. <laughs> uh, I will motion for everybody to be quiet because we don't know what is on this floor. And I would like to stealth forward. Ooh. Stealthy, stealthy. Roll me stealth. Stealthy. stealthy. I have, um, I have disadvantage on that, so I might just yep. stay back here. <laughs> I'm not moving. Will... I'm in this corner. <laughs> I will, uh, if, if Bonk goes okay, down one side, stealth. I, I shall, I shall, uh, follow him. Uh, where's my stealth? There we go. Okay. Good stuff. I can't believe the eight foot two bugbear has plus six on stealth. Because <laughs> it's deck space, isn't it? I know. It's great. <laughs> Punk. Punk. Yeah. I yeah. For traps. Um. Maybe. Stop. Um. <laughs> Fuck it. It's a corridor. They can't, there wouldn't be traps here, would there? I can't whisper in this voice, it doesn't come out right. <laughs> <laughs> All right I'm just going to squint my eyes down the corridor and see if there's any obvious... Alright, give me an investigation. No, sorry, uh, 
Are you just looking down the corridor, or are you actually going to look? Are you looking properly? You... Well, uh, well, I'm not just looking. I'm, I am seeing if I, if I see any signs uh, that would indicate a trap of some of some All sort. Right. Thieves two over me. That wasn't a sentence. Fuck it. Oh damn. Twenty one. <laughs> mm. So you stop here, and you you put your hand out to Bong to stop him because you you. Looking up the corridor now, you can see that there, there's like little drifts of stone. Very little pebbles, but it looks like it may have been knocked from the wall and from the ceiling. And you notice that it appears to be uh, have a straight edge on one side. And then much further up the corridor, you see a very similar thing. So as you stop here, looking at where this edge is, you find that the flagstones in front of you seem to be raised very slightly. Where, where are raised flagstones? There and there. Right in front of me. Oh my god! Are you serious? Mm -hmm. uh, did I seriously? <laughs> <laughs> well, we're getting really, actually, kind of strangely lucky with. It. Okay. Um, right. Oh, I, th I, th I think there's a trap right in front of us. Okay. Um, Where? I, I literally think if we take one more step, we're going. We might set something off. Does this look something like something I can disarm, or are we better just tr jumping over it? That is your choice, Gray. I am not going to step near that because the last time I did that, it okay, fucking okay. hurt. All right, just take a step back. I'm going to get down on my knees to have a closer look and see if I can use my thieves' tools to kind of. Disarm this. Okay. I'm gonna put a hand on the back of Gray's coat to yank him back. Okay. If anything flies out or I hear that fucking fateful noise, I am tensing, ready to pull him back. Okay. These doors. It's the fifteen. Okay. So you get your uh, having having already disarmed one of these traps, you have a good idea of what to do. So you get your um, crowbar into the edge of the flagstone, and you manage to jimmy up slightly, giving you enough space to get your fingers in, and you're able to pry up. And as you pry up, you hear a as a spring lets go, and then there are pulleys and levers which all start to clank and fall apart. And Bonk, looking over over him. You can see that on both sides of the corridor, the walls from here, almost up to the door, shake briefly, and dust falls from the ceiling. Uh. Okay, I think we're good. That is too close. That was very close. All right, let's keep going. Da, 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 da. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> Rune, shall we move up stealth, a little bit? Be stealthy. Uh, yeah, I'll, I'll wave to the guys that they can come up. Seeing the, there's more stones oh. here, is this indication of another another trap or? Um, so this is where the other line of stones is um, that you saw f far ahead, and yeah, in stopping and knowing you're looking for, you can see these two are raised as well. Okay, I'll do the same here, please. Okay. Yeah, so this one. And stepping back and holding on to his shoulder. <laughs> Alright, so Romy again. 12. So, in this instance, you get your crowbar in, but possibly a little bit more, a, bit, a little bit too self confident this time. And instead of getting it in the edge, you actually press it down onto the flagstone. And you hear a click, pull back, pull, and immediately the walls next to you start to shake and move inwards. Fuck. So inwards, inwards. So give me acrobatics saves, please. All of us. Uh, only the only the two of you. I mean a deck save or an acrobatics check. Well, which one you want to do? Whichever, 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 which either works for you is the highest. Uh, I have advantage on deck saves versus a scene effect. 
Okay, yep. So, I will take the advantage. Okay. Last one was... So, a... Vonk, you run. You sprint as fast as you can back towards Rune and uh, Rickar. And in doing so, you don't. You kind of lose grip of Grey. Shit. So, Grey, as you are running, you get to about here. Mm -hmm. And then the walls... <gasps> Shit. ...come in together. Jesus Christ. Can I? I mean, I assume I will take some damage. Can I use my Ashen Step to... Bamp out. Yes, you can. Uh, I think I, I still take half damage. Yep. So you use your action step, just as you can. You can tell, judging by the distance, that you're not going to make it. Let's see what we're going to be doing here. Uh, I've lost my bloody macro. For this, this must look terrifying for the other guys. <laughs> There we go. So, yep, yeah, this is half damage. Hopefully, it won't kill you. I don't like the sound of that. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. So, you take 30 Jeez. points of bludgeoning damage as the wall, as you, as you are, as you are in the middle of concentrating. Fuck. Me, yeah. You are. The walls catch you, and they begin to crush you inwards. You feel your shoulders starting to be pushed inwards, and in that last moment, you <laughs> disappear in ash and reappear over there. Oh, slump on the floor like a empty pillowcase. Holy shit! Are you okay? I'm oh, running oh. over. Great, great. <laughs> how, how badly damaged are you? I think I've broken a number of bones. Um, I've possibly ruptured some inner organs. My, f I can't feel the right side of my face. I, I also can't feel the left side of my face. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay, I will straight away uh, cast my preserved life channel divinity on him, revealing forty points. <laughs> you, can, you, you, you feel your your bones knit back together. Your your organs rearrange themselves back into the right places. While that's happening, I'm gonna eat my blood chocolate. Oh, very good. But I don't know. I don't remember what that does. Uh, hold on. Uh, it does. Um, you regain ten eight. HP and you're vulnerable to radiant for 20 minutes. Yes, and it tastes okay. like and it's dark chocolate with a, with a light metallic taste. Yes. All right, gives me a bit more health. That was horrific. <laughs> Thank you. Fuck. I feel I, I feel much better. I I think I thought we lost you there, man. That might be the. Yeah, for me too. The walls closed in and it got dark, and then... Uh, I, luckily, I, I reacted in the last second, but I, I thought I was... I was gone for a sec. Ah, uh, yeah, we th I thought you were a goner. I'm so happy that you are not. That was... Uh, oh, that was too fast. I did not like that. So as you're talking, the walls begin to retract. For um, clicking back in that's place. Fucking terrifying. Yeah. When I and initially I thought the sixty was half damage. <laughs> um, <laughs> Shit. That would suck. <laughs> okay. That sixty um, would have killed me at the moment. I actually did that completely wrong, but never mind. Are you that low? Uh, I'm just under half. So it's not really that low, but yeah. Do you know what triggered it? Can we avoid that? Uh, yeah, I mean, we could just 
if we run and jump, we should be able to get over it. I don't know if I want to try that again. Okay. Fuck, I didn't even see where it closed. I mean, I could, should have probably run in the other direction. I don't know. Um, I, uh, um, well, I, I mean, I can, I can run straight and just barrel through that door to give you a clear path. I think, Troy, uh, there is space to jump over it, correct? I mean, when... Yes, yeah, you, I mean, you, you did look up there before you started to, you know, try and disarm the traps. You can see that there was, uh, you know, it's, a, it's probably about 10 feet beyond the point yeah. where you uh, were attempting to mm. disarm. I mean... Because I can't, I can't do that again. Whatever happens, we should probably try to actually disarm it, because if we need to be the hasty retreat back this way, we don't want to be, uh, you, we don't want that in our way. Okay. Okay. Um, but at least we are prepared now for what it is, so we can uh, come up with yeah, some kind of escape have, plan. You, I, like I said, I, I can't, I can't do that again. So if, if I, if I set off the trap again, I... I need some way to get out of there quickly. Sure. Uh, I mean... Uh, or... I think we sprint. At this point, I don't want to risk it. Okay. Can well, you point out to me where, it, where the trigger is? It was here where these stones are, Troy. Is that correct? Or was it the one before? Okay. It's where those stones are. I, 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 I actually, I mean, as much as I hate to admit that I need to do this again, it, it's only me risking failing. Whereas if we all jump, that's four of us that could potentially fail. Do you know what I mean? Well, I know what you mean, but, you know, I'd rather... I thought that when like came it. out the other side. Uh, so what? I don't. I don't. I. I mean, it's. Uh, it seems like a silly way to die. <laughs> so. Yeah. Don't. <laughs> yeah, but that's what I mean. We we have to kind of weigh up what. Hey, I I saw be... a, I saw that a section of uh, an entire section of the corridor uh, moved. Um. How close were you to the other side of the trap? I, I don't know. I just started running. I don't know oh, if I there see. would have been a hole at the other end. Right, right, okay. I mean, okay. Do you want Do you want to try again, or do, do should we all just go up there carefully and, and step over it? I mean, how, how big is the gap? Is it a, a five-foot gap, or...? Uh, what do you mean the actual flagstones that are, yeah. are the trigger? Yeah. Yeah, that's about five foot. Yeah, we, we'd all have to take a running jump over. Okay. Or I try and disarm it. But again, uh, I, I don't know what's more likely to cause mm. an issue. Oh, fuck. Well, uh... I mean, it's your call, man. I I don't want to push you in the okay, direction and then that end up hurting you. Fuck it. Okay, fuck it. Fuck it. Fuck it. Fuck it. Just <laughs> okay, uh, stay there. Stay there, guys. Stay there. Oh, shit. Okay, I am I get, fucking I, nervous. I, I get here. I'm going to kneel down. Mm -hmm. I'm going to close my eyes. And uh, say, uh, Shalin, I've never prayed to you before. I don't have the words for it, but just remember this that t today is <laughs> not the day I want to die, alright? So help me out here, okay? Do me a favor. And if you don't listen, then. To hell with you. <laughs> and I will try and disarm the trap again. Okay. Come and on. I'm ready to start running. 
Oh, I also still have Bardic Inspiration. Yeah. So yes, I'm going to add that on as well. Mm -hmm. Whew. It's a 17. I said I'd use it, so I'll add the D8 as well. For a total of 23. Oof. That's a, so, that's a good use of a, yeah. of a just to make sure. Honestly. Yeah. <laughs> that fucking damage. Holy shit. So, with shaking hands and sweat pouring down your ashen face, you much, much, much more carefully this time get your crowbar into the wedge and you do it so slowly. You, you, know, you, you hear the metal against the stone. You wait. You press it in slightly. You wait. You start to apply pressure. You wait. And it takes a lot longer, but it pays off. You get the flagstone up. The spring detaches. The pulleys stop. There's a heart-stopping moment where the walls go... Shudder slightly, but don't move. And you successfully disarm the trap. Oof. Okay. I nervously turn back to the guys and give them a, a thumbs up and a cheesy grin. <laughs> and, I will... and then the walls crash again. My work. <laughs> Fuck you. I shall <laughs> test my work and uh, if I can, move up to the door. Okay. So you step up to the door. I will slowly follow. Yeah. Just pat him on the back and say, good job, buddy. Yeah, okay. I very, very gingerly step over. I just kind of do one of these. Put my leg halfway over it, realise I'm not going to reach the other side if I keep my other leg there and do like a weird hop thing. <laughs> just, over, just over to the other side. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. Rude, this is no time for dancing. Uh, this is serious business. I know, man. Yeah. This is serious dancing. Fucking hopscotch or what? <laughs> Alright. We don't know what's on the other side of this thing, do we? We do not, no. Oh, is, are we there any keyholes? monsters. And, and no, no key holes. No key very, holes. These, are, these are similar doors to the ones that you've you've seen all the way up okay. through here. Uh, the only doors that had keyhole, the only door that had a keyhole in was the baboon door, the which baboon was door. a okay. different type. It was more wood. Uh, these appear to be clad in metal. <sighs> okay. Mm, yeah. <laughs> all right. Well, I guess we've come this far. Let's do it. Okay. So. You try the doors and you find that they open inwards. And as you push them open, as I try and grab my dynamic lighting line again, <laughs> as you push the door open, Ooh. waiting for you oh. on the other side is a familiar figure, a white with its hair floating up. Two humanoid skeletons, which, which appear to have four arms each, and strange growths coming out of their skulls, Eesh. and stood almost nonchalantly a figure in a captain's uniform, hmm. a hook for a hand and a black blade. His skin is all emaciated. You can see his cheekbones dressing up prominently. His teeth are exposed. His eyes are missing with a green glow in there. And whilst he has no skin or muscles to smile, you can tell that he is smiling at you. Of course he is. And as you open the doors, he stands there and looks up. He's well, Hello there, lads. You've been causing quite a bit of trouble. And that's all right the No! No! no. <laughs> Denied. Carry on. <laughs> fuck! <laughs> no! Who the fuck is that? Of magic and might, with grip.
Nothing can damper the spirit so shattered there. 